Welcome back, my salty village. It's a boy salty, and here I'm going to be talking about mistakes that I wish I would have, I would have avoided when I first started playing Raid Shad Shadow Legends, and what I believe that any new 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 player or anybody who hits like a wall and struggles with should be focusing on, especially at the beginning stages of the game. Um, is just I have four simple things, probably five, because I think I'm gonna add one right now. The first one is uh, now that it comes to my mind is picking the right starter character. Now the right starter character will either make you, picking the wrong one would, will slow you down entirely and picking the right one will help you out tr a tremendously. And the two ones that I believe that you should pick out is definitely, the number one one is definitely Kale right here. Kale is definitely the, your first option of picking a starter character. Well, it, But if you've if you if you're in your second account or maybe you don't want kale you know what i'm saying maybe you don't want kale the second choice that i would definitely choose is with the high elf um helene helene is very good she has a good e uh, a good aoe attack just like kale kale works more in like ev everywhere she works in um basically everywhere too i wouldn't say she works as good in um the clan boss but everywhere else she's just as good as kale like she's she she can be power, powered up, and as you can see, they're both um, magic affinity. Um, and then the other one who we have is is definitely I thought I took him out, but right here did I take him out? Oh, they're there. There they are. Oh, she's magic and he's magic. Okay, so they're all magic. Okay, I, I, I never really noticed that. But, yeah, you definitely want to pick a good starting champion. And then to guide right into that, um, number one would be don't spread yourself too thin. Now, what I did at the beginning was I had, I took the time and I went and I took Kale as far as I could. And then I took, like, two other characters as far as I could. And I don't even use those two other characters. I fed him into Kale to make him a 60. So it was just a lot of resources gone, a lot of um, wasted gear taken on and off because I put some good gear on, on them. So the higher the gear, I had to take pay coins to get them off. So that's just wasted resources. And then it's just time gone for um, getting Kale to where he needs to be. And that's like you need a strong farmer because a strong farmer can help you do 12 three and twelve six and stuff on 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 brutal where you get the most xp and the most coins to be able to level up your care yeah, your characters as fast as possible especially if you're free if you're free to play you need to get your farm your farmer as fast as possible i, I really wouldn't even fo focus on anything else in the game except for getting your farmer with the best gear possible and the fastest way to get him to level 60. um and then i wouldn't advise this but there are players that you know because you do get shards and energy and stuff really quickly at the very beginning stages. Some people will actually just keep starting over until they pull a legendary or even a good epic. I mean, I wouldn't advise that. That just takes time, too. And it's just kind of like I don't get the point of that. But I, I do get the point of that at the same time. But I wouldn't do it. What the next part, what I would think about is do not waste your resources. Up here at the very top, you can see... At level 44, I max out at a day about a 114 energy, and I only have about 10 million silver. I used to, I stick up between 10 million and 12, 12 million. I try to stick between there, but the more high you go up, trying to get it from um, an artifact from stage, um, from level 12 to level 16, it can cost you anywhere between like 200,000 to 2 million, <laughs> depending on your RNG luck. But your resources come in very fast at the beginning, and that's where you need to. Um, use them efficiently and not just waste and that goes back into number one where you don't want to spread spread yourself too thin you don't want to waste all your energy all your energy on stuff you're not going to be keeping in the long run um, and so then you, you don't want to put random gear on and that goes into my third one <laughs> make sure you know your character decide on what type of team you want to make what type of gear you want for that team and um, that way you don't waste your resources on taking the gear off of characters and reapplying different gear and looking at it and then taking gear off again. That's just a waste of that's just a waste of money and energy and time and just a bunch of different other aspects. And I would say 
once you get your farmer up to a good point, you want to be able to get his masteries done as quick as possible. Get masteries done ASAP because you don't want to be struggling at the end game wondering why you're not strong enough to get past when you could be like, oh, I could have been, or end game, mid game, and you don't have, you don't have your masteries up. And the good thing about getting your farmer up to where he needs to be, it helps out there because once you get your farmer up to where he needs to be, he can be used in the arena just as efficiently as he would be used farming. And using getting those tokens in the arena actually help you out because all this this um, extra 3% attack, it works everywhere outside the arena in dungeons and um in, in, in faction wars, in in the campaign, in the clan boss, it works everywhere. So like getting you to where you need to be, this actually helps out more than what you think. But also you gotta look, you you have to look at your team. As you can see, most of my team is the uh, is the magic. So the blue, so or the uh, yeah the well, what do we got? So we got yeah is is the magic. I don't really have none of the spirit. And none, and none of the forest, and I have a few, one good void character at this point, but most of them are basically magic, so that's what I'm trying to work on, is get the magic pe people up, which is mainly my kale. All in all, what you need to do is focus on your starting champion, maybe one of, uh, other champion, so don't spread yourself too thin, don't waste your resources in the beginning, because they come in quick, but you'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll realize that you can burn that very fast and then you'll be wondering oh shoot i don't have a thousand energy a day no more i'm getting like <clears throat> like the rest of us where we have to pay gyms to keep our energy up and be done with our en energy within like 10 minutes get your um don't waste resources get your masteries up as quick as possible on your main characters your main two i'm not even gonna say three your main two decide on what type of team you want to make that way you are not wasting time resources money and different types of things if you're free to play it's gonna take a lot longer if you're a pay to play shoot maybe some of these things don't matter to you because you're just gonna buy it anyway but if this helped i hope it does help um i know it was just sitting on the screen most of the time i should have had something running in the background but if it did help please leave a thumbs up if it did not help um Tell me what you guys would would like to know, and I will research it and do my best to present it to you guys in a timely fashion. And I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.